Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere Shalom to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, unto the prophets, the men that are laboring in this truth and in this doctrine, unto you I say Shalom. Men shall seek death and shall not find it. All right, and this is just a uh, example of the times that we're living in, where you're going to see people bugging out. People have lost their, you know, their jobs, their family, you know, uh, you know, uh, worldly riches, whatever they have, they've lost it, and, and they don't know how to react. All right, mainly Edomites. Edomites are losing it. They they may have had a business that was thriving for 10, 20, 30 years, and you know, COVID nineteen made it go to shit. All right, they can't take it. I don't know what this guy's issue is right here on the, on the as you see on the screen, but he tried to take his life. All right, he jumped off a nine-story building in New Jersey and landed on a, a a BMW, landed on a car, and he lived. All right, because you have to understand, man's goings are of the Lord. All right, the, hey, the Lord is going to be the one to take you out. Okay, you can't do it yourself. All right, it's, if, it's, if it's your time, it's your time. But hey, this is the times that we're living in. Men shall seek death. And shall not find it. He, this guy was trying to, you know, he was trying to check out. But, hey, the most I said it's not your time. Okay, so I'm going to read a little bit of the article. You know, the, the the title says it all. All right, this guy survived. Because, hey, the most I may have another judgment for him. He may be, he may die of a famine. He may die of the sword. He may die another way. He may, you know, uh, uh, he may be an Israelite and, 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 and um, you know, the Lord opened up his eyes. But you have to understand. All right. It's not of you. It's not of us. The Lord, hey, the Lord is directs our steps. The Lord is the one that um, is program us, programming us to do what we want to do or we do what he wants, wants us to do. OK, so let me grab a scripture real quick and then I'm going to uh, read a little bit of the article. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter uh, 20 and uh, verse 24. And it reads, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Okay, man's going to the Lord, all right? This guy could have jumped off a 20-story a, a building. And the most, if the Most High wanted him to survive, he would have survived, okay? Your life is not in your hands like you think, okay? The, your life is in Most High's hands. He's he's going to, hey, he, he's the one that ultimately signs your death, death certificate, okay? Uh, let me read a little bit of this. A man plunged into a nine-story, nine stories from a high-rise in, in Jersey City, New Jersey, landed on a BMW and miraculously survive according to officials and witnesses a 31 year old crashed into the roof of a black beamer 330i parked below 26 journal square at 10 20 a.m and who knows what's going on with this guy he could have he could have lost his job he could have lost his family all right he might have just been catching hell okay but his his uh main objective was to to um to you know to to, to check out to uh you know to take his life but he, he, it ain't his life to take OK, um, and they just, you know, go through the, uh, what happened. You know, they heard, heard a loud boom. Um, let me see. Uh, the man who jumped from an open window on the ninth floor was rushed to a hospital in ambulance. Uh, let me see. Um, yeah, this guy's bugged out, man. You see him. You look, he's looking his eye, man. He, he, and, and so what's crazy is he got a damn mask on. That just shows you how bugged out he is. All right. Um. See, it says something right here. It says he wanted to die. That was his agenda. But God had something else in mind. The Most High had something else in mind for this guy. This guy may, this may, this guy may, you know, uh, this guy may catch a missile. He, the Most High, he may get gunned down in the street by, uh, uh, by troops. You know, who knows what this guy's judgment is? But it could be a righteous judgment, or it could be a, 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 a wicked judgment. But when the judgment comes from the Most High, it's all righteous. Okay, because he, he could have been, he could have been wicked. All right, and the Most High, like I said, the Most High had something in store for him. And you're going to see a lot of Edomites try to do that. Out here in Vegas, they have this um, tower called the uh, Stratosphere. It's about, shit, uh, 2,000 feet high. Maybe a guy jumped to his death uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Okay, you're going to see more, more and more people bug out, more people on edge, more people trying to uh, escape the, uh, really escape the terrors of the Lord, escape the, uh, the judgment that uh, is, is in store for them, uh, you know, mainly a lot of these Edomites uh, and, and um, you know, a lot of these people here in America also. You don't see a lot of Jakes doing this shit because, you know, at the end of the day, 
you know, we've been through it. We've been, you know, we, we've got eviction notices. We got uh, uh, turn off notices for, you know, your power and water and stuff like that. We've been, we, we, we've been in the, the slumps. Okay. So it ain't nothing new to us, but a lot of these, these heathens, these Edomites, this shit is, this shit is brand new to them. They don't know how to, they don't, they can't comprehend why these things are happening. And the only ones that have the answers are the prophets. As people who have plunged from much lower heights have died or killed others in recent months, in recent months. Okay. This is recent. This is something that is, uh, is, um, is happening, um, at, 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 you know, um, it's, it's happening at a, uh, you could say, a, um, a f it's, it's frequently happening, okay? Including a man who jumped from a parking garage in San Diego in September and landed on a woman and killed both of them. Hey, that was hey, that was his judgment and her judgment. For her to be in that spot that day and him to jump when he jumped. Okay, it's all part of the Heavenly Father's will, okay? You see, it, they, he jacked that car up. All right, but he survived, all right? You see that November 19th, the seven-year-old boy survived the harrowing nine-story fall in his family's apartment, but later died as a result of his injury. All right, so hey, this guy could this this guy could um this guy could survive, okay, but in in in, in pass later on. But the most I can have him survive to um so he can uh, um uh, 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 live in and live in pain for the rest of his life, and and that's torture in itself, okay. So um, let me grab a few scriptures. I'm going to um, go along, but you're going to see a lot of Edomites mainly that that's going to try to try to take their life, jumping off buildings, you know, uh, overdosing on pills, whatever it may be. All right. But that shows you that the times that we're living in, we're living in the end times. This is Revelation chapter uh, nine and verse six. And in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die and death shall flee from them. Why are they going to desire to die? Because of the plagues that are sent, okay? You're going to have a, a mass famine, all right? People are going to see their kids uh, starve to death right in front of their eyes, and they can't do shit about it, all right? You're going to see um, more, more pestilence diseases, okay, that are going to wipe out, you know, whole cities, whole states, all right? You, you know, you imagine getting the 19, and then you only got 10 days to live or, or, or five days. This shit's going to spread rapidly, all right? That's and not, not just America, all over the world. You're going to see death right in front of your face. So people are going to desire to die. People are going to say, man, I can't take this shit no more. You know, let me, let me take my own life. So I don't got to live in this torment, but hey, they're not going to, hey, death's going to flee from them. Okay. They, 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 they're not going to be able to take their own life. They may have a gun and the, 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 the can't pull the trigger. All right. Like I said, it's, 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 you're not on your time. You're on the most High's time. The most High says is the giver of life and the one that takes it away. Not Esau, not anybody. All right. Um, let's see, and, and when you can't run from your judgment, that's what a lot of these Edomites tr try to do. Okay, let me jump off this building so I can, you know, I won't get judged for all the wicked shit I did in my life. No, the, the Most High is going to have you stick around so you can get judged uh, uh, um, how He please. This is Amos chapter uh, five and verse eighteen, and it reads, "Woe to them that desire the day of the Lord, and what end is it f for you?" The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. That's why a lot of these people are bugging out because they, they, a, it's not, it's, it's no light at the end of the tunnel for them. It's all darkness. It's all bad things. And if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went, or went into the house and leaned on the, leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. All right. And that, that's, that's they're basically saying that you can't run from your judgment. You run from a, you from, run from a lion and a bear met you. You went into the house looking for safety, looking for refuge, and you put your hand on the wall, and a serpent bit you. There's no escaping your judgment. Or right, that's what a lot of these Edomites are going to find out. That's a lot of these our, our people, two thirds of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Okay, that 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 had the opportunity to get right with the Lord, but you didn't, and you're going to try to run from your judgment. You're going to try to run and seek the prophets. You're going to try to run and seek the truth. But it's, for a lot of you niggas, it's too late. Okay. Um. Let's see. Let me grab, uh, let me jump over a few chapters uh, to Amos 9 and 2. It says, as though though they did to hell, then shall my hand take take them. Though they climb up to heaven, then will I bring them down. And though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence I will command the serpent 
and he shall bite them. Okay, that's a, that's 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 these Edomites. All right, the Most High got everybody figured out. Everyone's that that ain't right with the heavenly Father is not calling on the Lord is going to try to escape and hide from their judgment. They're not going to repent. Esau can't repent. All right, so these devils think that they can run from their judgment. All right, they think that they could take life and they'll be all right. They'll you know they they they're, they're going to go to heaven. That's what these lot of these bug out think. Yeah, you're going to go to the spiritual realm, but you're going to come back. You Edomites are going to come back in the kingdom of heaven. All right, as slaves, as servants, you heathens are going to come back in the kingdom of heaven as slaves and as servants. You Israelites that 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 uh, that get judged here are going to come back in the kingdom of heaven in your right mind, but you're going to be you're going to uh, you're going to know that you went the way you went out. You're going to know that you know you 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 uh, you were judged here in Babylon. You're going to know that you didn't die in your Habashim Shai. Okay, so they, hey, everyone's going to get their judgment. All right, whether it be a righteous judgment. Or whether it be a, 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 a you know a wicked judgment, okay, you're going to get judged for for what you did in this world, all right. Um, I had another scripture I wanted to grab. This is a uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter uh, one, actually. Uh, this chapter, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter one and twelve. Seek not death in the error of your life, and put not upon yourself destruction with the works of your own hands. Meaning, hey, you're not supposed to try to take your own life. Like I said, it's not it, it's not your life to take. All right, it's the Most High that gives you life. It's the Most High that breathed life into you, so He's the one that can take it. Well, verse thirteen: For the for the Most High made not death, neither have He pleasure in the destruction of the living, for He created all things that they might have their beginning, and the generation of the world were healthful, and there is no poison of destruction in them, nor the kingdom of death upon the earth. Okay, so a. Hey, the Most High, he said, he 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 um he have no pleasure in the destruction of the living. But hey, when 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 you do wicked, you're going to get judged for that wickedness you did. When you do righteous, you're going to get a righteous judgment. Okay, but you're not supposed to take your own life. Okay, you're not supposed to jump off a damn building because shit is getting tough, shit is getting rough. Hey, you post you Israelites are supposed to have faith in the Lord that He was going to see you through, that He's going to make a way. Okay, you supposed to you know hey. You know, you post, hey, the times that we're coming into, your, your faith should be building up daily. All right. When you see shit like this, people bugging out, jumping off buildings and stuff. OK. Hey, you should be you should understand. Yo, we living in a time where things are going to happen like things are going to happen more rapidly like this. You're going to see, um, you know, you're going to see people do this shit and ain't no one's going to be there to try to save them and try to tell them, to, OK, you know, don't move. I guess they were trying to, this guy was trying to walk or whatever, and people were trying to help him. Hey, you're going to be, it's going to come a day when people are not even going to help this guy. This guy's going to just lay there and die on that car or, or bleed out or whatever. All right. It's, it, we're coming into heavy times where people are not, people are not right. And, and, and you're going to see more bugged out activities like this. All right. Let me see if I had one more scripture. Um, So, you know, Lord willing, um, you know, that's all I had. So, you know, I just want to bring out this quick lesson to show you that, you know, the times that we're living in and, and it's going to get more and more. Um, it's going to get more and more, you know, uh, crazy out here. All right. You're going to see more prophecies coming to pass at a rapid rate. And if you're not in your right mind, if you don't have a uh, if you're not right with the Heavenly Father and the Son, you're, you're not right with your Habash and your Shai, Hey, you could be just like this guy right here, bugged out. All right. Jumping off a building with a mask. All right. It's crazy. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Harakakwadash. Until next time, I say Shalom.